Well, Mark, that's a good point and a good performance tonight and uh, another step closer to, to safety. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a step closer. It's a really positive performance, but uh, a real frustrating one because the boys are giving absolutely everything out there again today. Uh, and, and we were agonisingly close, agonising close to, to getting the job done. And uh, we've probably gone a little bit loose on our marking. You know, the one time at a critical time and we've been punished and that's the nature of the league. But we, we defended magnificently all night, valiantly. And you're going to have to do that when you come to Bromley. You have an array of attacking talent, uh, you know, very strong from set plays. So we really had to stand up and we did all game. And that's what makes it even more bitterly disappointed because we, I think we had a real strong attacking intent about us. Created numerous chances. We're very unfortunate not to, to get further ahead. I thought um, we started the second half really strongly um, and you know, we got the goal and we were, we, we were so close but we'll take the positives from it and carry on playing like that, we're going to be fine. And what was said at half-time, it was straight out of the blocks, well beat tonight. Yeah, no, I think, you know, nil-nil at half-time, nil-nil at half-time, you know, confidence breeds in this group and, uh, you know, we're in a game and, you know, when we're ahead or drawing at half-time, we're one of the strongest teams because um, I feel we grow in confidence and, like I said, the, uh, we certainly did that in the second half, we really took the game to them and it just felt agonisingly short for, from getting those three points, which would secure our safety, but we've got, you know, Another, another, more games to come, more opportunities, and uh, we just got to make sure we show that fight and endeavour, togetherness, but also that attacking intent that we showed today. And what, was, did that feel much of your pre-match talk with the players uh, about winning tonight and, and that safety, or was it just uh, get on with the yeah, game? Yeah, I don't. You know, you, you can't, you can't uh, ignore the elephant in the room. We, we're well aware of what's at stake, but we're very process driven. We've got to know what we've got to do to deliver a performance. We've got to know our roles and responsibilities. Um, you know, we've got it's got to be built on hard work and togetherness, and we've, you know, got to get our, our tactical plan the best the best it can be. Uh, and I think the boys were, were fantastic today. And uh, you know, you're playing against uh, again Bromley, a really really strong side. There's no, you know, they're going to Wembley. They're they're at the top of the league at the start of the season. It just shows how tough this league is when they've had a bad, you know, they've had a bit of a bad run, but. We were playing a wounded animal out there, and they they were you know they were fighting and uh, you know gave us a really good game. But um, yeah, one one where we're bitterly disappointed, but you know we're we're down at the moment. We're certainly not out, and we've got everything to fight for, everything to play for, and uh, we can take the positives out of that performance over the coming days and, and build on that for the weekend. As they say, can the players feel too down because they said they've left everything out there and then they've had a terrific performance each and every one of them. No, no, they can't, and we can't allow them to be. But obviously they're in there at the moment, and it and it's tough because it was a cruel, cruel blow for everything that they showed. And, uh, you know, on another day, we would have had a, a couple of goals from our, i say, scintillating counter attacks. They certainly were. You know, we had some great chances in the first half. Obviously, Sinclair Armstrong had his uh, debut for us, a long-awaited debut. It was great to have him in the Aldershot colours. And he, he, I think he showed, um, you know, what we've been missing and, and what he's all about. And, um, you know, on another day, he could have had a, had a hat-trick. It was... Uh, you know, I have to say, all from his, you know, his own power and pace, he uh, caused them a lot of problems. And uh, pleased with Karen Jolly getting another goal. I think he led the line brilliantly. He played a couple of different positions for us tonight as well. And um, you know, he's, he's a he's a man in form as well, and, and brings confidence. And I think you know, you can see Sinclair there with him as well. We've got you know a real a real big goal threat there now as well. So we're you know we're we're certainly finishing the season strong. That is for sure. There's a good chance for everyone to get a look at him tonight as well. Um, he looks unfair, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. And, uh, you know, the best is still to come. That's 60 minutes. He's been a bit stop-start since January. Like I said, we were, you know, hoping to see him sort of at the back end of January and it, it didn't quite happen. But he's here now and we're very grateful and indebted for QPR for trusting us with one of their prized assets. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure everyone will look forward to seeing him on, on, on Saturday at the EBB. And then we look ahead to Saturday, yeah, and it's a, a team right up there. Yeah. Massive resources trying to secure their playoff spot. What sort of a challenge do you expect from Notts County? Yeah, no, a huge challenge. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Notts County. They play some lovely football on their day. I think they're the, one of the strongest teams in the league. They they play a great great brand of football and they're, they're going to test us in every which way. But we've shown that we're up for the fight. We've shown that we can go toe to toe with anyone in this league when we're, when we're on song. And uh, you know, we've got everything to fight for. Everything, you know, we believe in ourselves. Performances like that needs to add to that. You know, we got we can't use that as disappointment. We've got to use that as to fuel our fire, fuel our confidence, because we we've shown a lot out there today. We continue to show that. We're, you know, I know we'll be fine, but we want to get this over the line so, sooner rather than later. Thanks. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.